Hi, this is Chris Goodson at TSS. We hope you're enjoying your new green screen setup, um, but we do understand that some people have had some concerns about getting the cased iPad inside the iPad tripod adapter. So I'm gonna give you a little tutorial on that and make sure uh, that you understand how that works. Uh, it is very important not to take the iPad out of the protective case because these new iPads are small enough that they can actually slip out of this pretty easily unless they're in the case. So uh, let me show you some details on how to get this into this. So this is the tripod adapter. It's a nifty little doodad. Um, it has a mounting lug right here that screws on top of the bolt of your tripod. Slides open to adjust and clamp around the iPad. And then it's got a locking switch right there that kind of locks everything in. What I'm noticing is that the padding that protects, uh, that's there supposedly to protect the back of your iPad, um, the padding on these that we've got this time seems to be a little thicker than some of the padding before. And what's happened, it, what happens is that makes it really hard to get your iPad to lock in there. So even when you kind of push it on and bend it a little bit and get it to click, sometimes, like right here, you can you can get it in, but it's still it's bowed up pretty much, and um, some people are having trouble getting it locked on. So I have a solution, and this is going to be very high tech, so be prepared. The solution is we're just going to remove this padding. Uh, what we found is it's on there with some sticky stuff, and you really can just sort of pull it off. It might tear, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can also remove the tabs up here at the top. And now, when we go to lock this thing in, the notches are still going to fit a little tight at the bottom. But you'll notice it fits much better at the top. And now when we press in a little bit and turn the lock, we've got a good solid grip. And you can even adjust the bottom ones a little bit if you need to. Once you do that, it should fit in there really well. And once again, it's just really important not to take the iPad out of the case because these iPad Air 2s are so thin that they will at times slide out of this adapter. So I hope that solves your problem. Um, if you have any questions, please talk to your tech facilitator.